Well, let's see, let's start with our guest of honor, Erie Eden. Time contestant on Cutthroat Artist. I think I think this might be your fourth time. Yes, it is your fourth time. Yes, yes. So uh, are, you, are you confident this time? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, excellent. So so you're eating everybody. Okay. So our our second artist hails from. I can never pronounce it because you, the way you say it is so is so well. It's so authentic. So. <laughs> He's from Mexico. Come on up, uh, Coidel. Come on up, Coidel. This is Coidel Coyote. You may have seen him in the, in the artist alley. Have a seat. All right. Now, uh, you did Cutthroat Artist once? Uh, this is my third time. Your third time? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Really? It was uh, my first MFF, then MFF again, and then it was uh, TFF. Oh, no, you weren't in TFF though. Paco was, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, so twice. This, this is your third time, right? Okay, perfect. I was a host each time? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, okay, our next artist will be hailing all the way from Ontario, right? Or you're in Ontario, aren't you? All right, we're in Ontario. Toronto! Come on up, Cheryl. Cheryl, <laughs> sure you competed last year. Here, right? Oh, at FE, and you were uh, you were uh, you were out first, I think. Yes, I was thrown under the bus again. Right, and <laughs> and uh, and as a result, you wanted your chance of redemption. Oh yeah. Okay, well you're you're gonna have your vengeance, not redemption, revengeance. Okay, well you might just have because I believe that that time you lost to the gentleman that we're just about to introduce, right? Okay, all right. So, you notice I have them sitting next to each other? Um, all right. So also from Mexico. Come on up, this is Paco Panda. Panda. All right, so we have four great artists. Well, now you've participated in Cutthroat Artists. Hey, this is my third time. Your third time, okay. By the way, we have microphones. I don't know why I'm not making you guys talk. All right, so here we go. Uh, no, it doesn't work? Yeah, it doesn't work yet? Okay. Yeah. So this is your third time. It's my third time, and I won the two previous. You won your two previous times. Yeah. Excellent. So, so, so you hear that artist? This sorry. Is... <laughs> hey, he's learning Canadian. He said sorry. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so as you guys all know, I've already explained the rules in general to the audience. Um, you guys already know the rules because you're all veterans of this program. Uh, you all have your art supplies. Uh, I'm going to be uh, giving you a challenge in just a moment. But as a result, I need a subject for them to no, draw. Yeah. No, not a subject, like as in a topic. I need, I need a volunteer. And ideally, they're in a fursuit. Ideally. I didn't say they have to be, just said ideally. Um, okay, so let's put it this way. Uh, of the ones that are, are wanting to be in here, how many of you are not a canine? Okay. How many of you are not a domestic animal? Okay. How many of you are a imaginary animal? Okay. Um, kind of? I guess in technically we're all kind of imaginary. All of them, right? So, you know what? I think over here, what, what kind of creature are you? A dragon. A dragon. Any particular type of dragon? Just a shrug dragon? Fluffy dragon. A fluffy, fluffy shrug dragon? Okay. Well, what, what's, what's, your, well, come on up. Come on up here. Give her, give her an answer. We don't fight. Okay. So, uh, so what's your, what's your, I'm looking at your character name here. You have like 90 badges. Oh, it's Fleur. Fleur. Right? Fleur? Okay, Fleur. So, as we can see with Fleur, uh, she's a dragon. She's carrying a stuffed animal, and uh, she has glasses and flowers in, in her around her head. Right. So, those are all characteristics of your character. Okay. All right. So, here's the uh, here's the challenge artist. Uh, first, of all, we've got a ten, ten minute count ready to go. Do you need me to go? Do you need me to oh, great! Go? You're not even supposed to be here. Get out. Where do I go? What? Just outside, somewhere where you can't hear us. Oh, no. 
outfits. She's already ruined the show. Love it. We'll, 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 we'll come get you. So just go down the hallway a little bit. Okay. So someone maybe close the door a little bit. Just so anyway. All right. Uh, so the the uh, it's very simple. The challenge is for you to draw a movie theme badge for Fleur, right? Ten minutes on the clock. Someone? Yeah, we, you got it. Okay, ten minutes starting right now. Sure. 
Yeah, okay. But uh, but you're happy with what did you? What was sort of the the, the focus of what you did? Uh, I was focused. I, I prefer to use the blue for the for the shading. So I think it was it was pretty decent. Okay, and it's like a Sherlock Holmes theme. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Paco. Okay, Shiro. What did you get? Uh, I was kind of going with like a sort of a Gone with the Wind sort of musical sort of theme for it. All right. <laughs> Apparently it's very awe-worthy. <laughs> I, I assume it was your art. Or maybe it's Shiro. Is Shiro awe-worthy? No. Oh. Absolutely. Oh. Oh. All right, great work. Let's move over here. I'm going to take this microphone with me. All right, uh, so Quido, what do you got here? Well, I decided to just go for a uh, superhero yeah. team movie. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, our character here in front of, in front of us uh, wearing the Infinite Stones. Uh, Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, sorry, spoilers here. So, so I see that the um, so this is a DC Marvel crossover because not only is it Thanos' glove, but it's Superman's cape. I mean, it's for avoid copyrights. Oh, it's to avoid copyright, or just get get sued by twice the number of students. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Erie. All right, Erie, what do you got here? Upside down, little doctor, little doctor bear. Oh. I'm gonna try cape this year. You do have cute? So when I try serious, it doesn't. Okay, well there you go. All right, well you know what? Uh, someone needs to go get our. Um, hmm? Go get her. Go get her. Come on up. This is Robin. Or do you want me to announce you as Amara? It doesn't matter, but I'm the they. They? Yes. They. They are ready to judge. So, but please welcome Amara. <laughs> And uh, who did you, who did you, who, who won last year? Kato. Who won? Who won? Kato. Kato did, last year? Yeah. Oh, she was in full suit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah, she's not even here this year. Well, she was here for a little bit, but she's not participating in this. So anyway, there's going to be a new winner crown at Fred this year, so let's take a look. So you, you, you unfortunately heard uh, what we were doing. A little bit. No, I did, I did. You only knew there was a movie theme, movie no, theme no, badge for Ramsey. All I heard was that there was a dragon. Okay, so there's the dragon. Yes. That's Fleur. And uh, they had to drew, draw a movie theme badge for a random suit. So, if you want to take a look at the four pieces um, and uh, make your way across the stage, and then if you have any questions or anything, you can grab a microphone if you like. No, no, you're good? Okay. <laughs> and uh, take a look here. Okay, so Robin is making their way down to see uh, Erie's art. This is hard. Why are you all so good? <laughs> well, this is this is the name of the game. Uh, You'd rather be participating than judging, wouldn't you? I really would. Okay, right, well. It's too late. I know. Going to every year. Uh, F F E next year, probably. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, you've seen all four pieces. Do you have any questions of the artist or anything like that at all? Do you understand what? Shiro. Shiro. So close. Shiro, I'm sorry, but you have been eliminated. And um, we thank you for participating again. We will see you next week. Next challenge. By the way, thank you very much, Fleur. So, um, let's see here. Ooh, we need another volunteer. Well, let's see. Uh, again, canines? Canines? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dakota, you can't play either. <laughs> Alright, what kind of what kind of canine are you? I'm a fox. A fox. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> what kind of canine are you? A husky. A husky. <sighs> uh, what about back there? <laughs> Pardon me? A wolf. <laughs> Dear Lord. And over here? Fennec fox. A fennec fox. So you got really big ears. Okay, Tiger. and then over here? Tiger. You're not a canine. <laughs> How about you? What back there? Dragon. Yeah, the one pointing at himself. Yes, you. A wolf German shepherd. Okay. Explain that to the kids. Um, <laughs> All right, you know what? You know what? Uh, and 
Fenrir guard, you know you're a fox, right? I mean, or a fussy. Or a what? Or a fusky. Or a fusky. A what? <laughs> What's that? A fox husky. A fox husky. A fox husky cross. Okay, you know what? Uh, it's going to be either between the two, the two foxes. And just because... Uh, let's go with this fox here. Alright, so come on up. Come on up here. I have... Come on up all the way down to the stage. Okay, so this is Rockwell Fox's character. So can you tell us a little bit, here I'm going to give you the microphone. Can you tell us a little bit about Rockwell Fox, uh, the character? Well he's quite young and cute and playful and very happy, curious. Okay, and, uh, awesome. and so, so his, his coloration is more like a normal, like a traditional fox, or is it a little bit different? Or he's a little bit more boring than a normal. He's a little fox. bit more boring, okay. <laughs> but he's got a cute speckled nose. Okay, so, so that makes up for it. Oh yeah, he's got a speckled nose. All right, um, all right, perfect. So I, the artist, if you had a, all had a chance to, I'll, I'll put the badge right on the the, the uh, table here so you can see it. Okay, all right. Um, so this gives you an idea of, of what we're looking at. Right, all good. Okay. All right. So, thank you. Feel free to have a seat. I mean, like, they're not drawing you, but you know, you can say. Oh, but I, I'll take the mic from you. Okay. Because you know, because it's not very with you. So. All right. Um, okay, artists. Are you ready? You guys have ten minutes, starting right now. Oh, sorry. Have to do what? You're just uh, you're just drawing them as a. Uh, oh, draw a fur suitor. This is kind of funny, actually. Draw a fur suitor as a superhero featuring. Um, oh, I need a superpower right now. <laughs> Invisibility would make really bad art. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna have to start again too. Laser eyes. Is a really bad idea. Laser eyes. Lightning. Okay, lightning it is. So superpower is lightning, and uh, go. All right. So the winner of the sabotage can force one of the competitors to correctly answer. Three Canadian trivia or three Mexican trivia questions before they can continue drawing. You have to get three right. We have 15 questions for each. So if Coidel or Paco uh, win the sabotage, they can be inflicted on, let's say, Erie. Then she has to answer Mexican questions and uh, vice versa. Okay. So, so who, you said ten dollars, Coidel. Who wants to bid twenty dollars? Erie, twenty dollars, thirty, thirty, forty, fifty. 50, 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, he's jumping, just like saying I'm not going to answer any trivia questions. 130 from Erie? 200, you only, you only have $250. You got to have some money left over for the next round, but so you want to go to 200? 200. Erie, you're going to go to 210? No? All right, going once, going twice? Sold to Coidel for two. Now, who are you going to inflict this? Are you going to are you going to make Erie answer questions about Mexico? Or are you going to make Coidel, uh, Paco answer questions about Canada? Uh, I think Paco's going to answer. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right, Paco. So here's the microphone. So you got to stop working, and Huskin's going to ask his questions. All right. No, no help from the audience here, please. All right. Let's start. There we go. What province is the furthest west in Canada? Uh, Yukon. That's not a province. Territory. Close. Who? <laughs> His fault. Who is Canada's current prime minister? No idea. What, what province is bordered by Alberta to the west and Manitoba to the east? Saskatchewan. <laughs> Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, I'm gonna skip that. Name, name the animal that appears on the Canadian two-dollar coin. Um, polar bear. Correct. Yeah. In what month does Canada celebrate Thanksgiving? November. Nope. What city is Canada's capital? Ottawa. Great job. 
I'm actually disappointed we didn't get to more of the other questions, actually. <laughs> so while we're doing that, well, you guys can answer some of these. What is the name of the NHL hockey team that plays in Calgary, Alberta? What, what's Canada's largest city? Toronto. I'm going to ask you yeah, some of the Mexican ones. How many states does Mexico have? Exactly right. Perfect. The Great Pyramid of Chichen Itza? Chichen Itza. Is to be found in which Mexican state? Quintana Roo. No. Incorrect. <laughs> no. Yucatan. Other than the U.S., name one of two other countries that border Mexico. Canada. Belize. Belize is one. Honduras. No. They're, they're, they're an island. So. Uh, Guatemala is the other one. Who's the current president of Mexico? Right? What, what alcoholic beverage is made from... Tequila. Okay. I think <laughs> What time zone is Mazatlan in? Central. Mountain, same as ours. What three colors make up the Mexican flag? Red, white, and green. Excellent. Uh, this spicy Mexican sausage made with various kinds of meat and spices is often served with eggs. Chorizo, right. Okay, let's see. Uh, Vincente Fox owns a villa on a bluff overlooking the ocean of Huatuco. Who is Vincente Fox? Correct. And finally, correctly spell Chihuahua. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. H U A H U A. Correct. Excellent. All right. All right. It's time for our next sabotage. Uh, so, artists, uh, the next sabotage is that uh, you can force one of your competitors to complete their drawing by only looking at their drawing in a mirror from behind the blind. So, this damn near killed Jim Cody at uh, MFF. So, uh, who wants to bid $10 to get that started? $10. $10. $20. Anybody for $20? Yes, $20? No? Just $10? Paco? $10 going once? Going twice? Okay, sold to Paco for $10. So, who are you going to make have to do that? Hi, <laughs> Quite L, he says. Alright, so Quite L. So, what's going to happen is. Uh, we're going to set this up so that you have to put your pad in front of you. Yeah, like that, right? You're going to have this blocking your view. Okay, so you can't see it. All right, got it? And then we're going to put the mirror, and you can tell us what to position, how to position the mirror so you can actually see what you're doing. And it's from Dollarama, so it's not going to be all that good. Okay. So if you look here, don't look there. That's, that's the fair way of doing it. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, here you go. I got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down, everybody. All right, great job. Is that tough, for you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me just get rid of this stuff here. Okay. Let's take a quick look at these things uh, before our judge come in. So, Gary, what I see here? Oh, there's some 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 lightning going on. Yeah. Uh, so what was your sort of, how did you sort of interpret all this? You know, like he's imagining like... Or as it says, zap. Okay, all right, perfect. So let's move on here, Quidel. So Quidel, you got, uh, you got a, you got a fairly difficult... Yeah, it was a bit hard, but fortunately the main sketch and everything was done before that uh, uh, punishment, so... What's so is that why, like, I mean, I could actually see here, are these some of the things that you tried to do with the mirror and that's why they look like that? Yeah, I was not looking to mess up what I already had, right. so I just keep it doing like some background stuff, but it's so hard, like, it's like, I don't know, it's impossible. Like I said, well, I mean, you know, all great artists probably wouldn't find that easy, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, at least I'm glad that the main sketch was done on time, so. Excellent, all right, and then over, <laughs> and then Paco. You had time to color your art, even though you got. Uh, I mean, you did well with the Canadian trivia. Uh, oh yeah, I tried my best. I'm very. Uh, I don't know about the name of the things to do. It's like, oh, okay. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll just get, hold on to the microphone for a second. Do, do you know the name of the person in Mexico? <laughs> um, just give me a second here. I'm going to look for something here. Google it real quick. I'm going to ask you a bonus question. Okay. All right. You ready, ready for this question? I'll, I'll give you an extra couple of dollars back if you can Ooh. get this right. Okay. Okay. 
What province is the city of Moose Jaw in? The city of what? Moose Jaw. Um, Nunavut? <laughs> Ooh, who knows? Saskatchewan! I was just trying to get you to say Saskatchewan again. <laughs> All right, let's bring our judge back in. Welcome back. Come on up. Come on down. Huh? I can't run. My knees hurt. I'm old. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. All right. So, uh, you see this lovely badge here? This is Rockwell Fox. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Right. So Rockwell Fox is the subject of the art, and the challenge was for the artist to, uh, yeah, click your artwork, right? Uh, was to draw the first series of superhero featuring a superpower that was uh, suggested by the audience, which happened to be lightning. All right, so now you get to look at all three pieces and tell us who, well, again, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. <laughs> all right, so, Robin. Oh, Aries got some good, like, action pose up there. Does that do that? Oh, actually, can you tell me what province Robin lives in? <laughs> all right, so Robin, you've now seen all three pieces. Uh, unfortunately, one of the one of the artists has to go. Uh, so again, the the the, the uh, actual challenge was to draw uh, the first suitor as a superpower with lightning as a superpower. I'm afraid, sir. Coidel? Oh, Coidel. Coidel. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you in about 10 minutes again. Okay, we'll see you later. Thanks again, Okay, okay artists, final challenge. One of you will be crowned the winner of Cutthroat Artist 2019 here at Universal Studios. So, I need, this time, two fursuiters. Or characters. Or characters. Uh, let's see here. I want... You're I know, Fallen, you're a, you're a bird. Yeah. Like, what official look at a bird is it? It's an owl. Snowy owl. Snowy owl. You know what? That's a good one. Come up here first. You're going to be one. By the way, the newlywed... Yeah. The newlyweds. <laughs> right there. I'm going to use Fallen as one, and I'm going to pick a different first suitor for the other one. So you can, you can be here for emotional support, right? So, so feel free to... Uh, we need some sort of reference, though. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's, let's take this. Don't worry, I won't swipe left. Um, <laughs> artist one. All right, there's a lot, of, a lot of feline hybrids out here today. Uh, well, you know what? We're about to create another one, because uh, you, sir, the blue tiger, coming up. Okay, what's your name? Your character's name? Flurry. Flurry. All right. And there's like a few, all sorts of art available <laughs> to choose from. So, so, uh, what can you tell us about Flurry? Uh, Flurry here, hang on. Here, here's, here's Mike. He's from Saskatchewan. Flurry is a Saskatchewan. Oh, really? Tiger. Okay. He's <laughs> a prairie tiger. Yep. It's really cool. And that's why he's blue. <laughs> all right. So Flurry, the prairie tiger from Saskatchewan. Uh, and uh, you can see here, that's why he's blue. Okay, so here you can see some of the artwork here. He's got purple hair on the top, he's blue. Okay, got it? Is that good? You guys, can, you guys have absorbed all this? All right, perfect. So, the, uh, the, the uh, challenge here is for you to just simply, simply, <laughs> draw a hybrid of following the snowy owl, and Flurry, the blue tiger. Okay, draw, create a hybrid. Are you ready for that? Okay, we're start. That's all it is. Ten minutes, starting now.
All right, artists, it's time for your sabotage. And you know, there's only one sabotage this round. Keep it easy, right? So, artists, your sabotage, whoever is sabotaged, will simply have to give up all their art supplies except for one item. So you can only keep one item and you must finish your artwork with that. So, who wants to bid $10 to get that started? $10 from Erie. 20 from uh, from Paco. 30. 30. 40. 40. 50 from Erie. How about 6, 70? Well, 100. 110. Erie says 110. Oh, well, let's, let's find out. You, you've got lots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You got all, you got 24, $240. So what do you want to bid? You're at 110 for Erie? No, 120? 120, okay. 130. 150. 160. 160, any? 200. 210 from Erie. 220? All $25. $250. Okay, well then, there you go. So now, is that going to be the, the, the implement that you're going to keep? you got to pick one that you're going to keep. That's it? Okay. You cannot use anything else here. Alright, we're just going to put that away so you're not tempted. You can't even use your sharpener in case it goes... Oh, it's not a... It's not... That's a pen. Okay. You can try to sharpen it. Might be right. Okay, so you are stuck with a big pen by your choosing. By the way, this is Paco's first time in, uh, well, you're not first time in Canada, but certainly first time in Alberta. Uh, are you checking out any things in Alberta other than furry? Yeah, I'm going to Calgary. You're going to Calgary and to oh, Calgary, yeah. to Banff. Oh yeah, I <laughs> spend some time here in Edmonton too. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you've already been to Western Canada, yeah, right? I, I already went to the, to the oh, I think Pradeau was saying that you guys were going to go to the water park though, right? Yeah, 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 we went to. Excellent, excellent. Um, don't die. <laughs> okay. uh, and Erie. So uh, let's let's look at it. Have you ever been to Mexico? I want to. Oh, what part of Mexico would you want to go to? Somewhere by a beach. Where? Somewhere by a beach. Somewhere by a beach? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where, where should Erie visit? Uh, definitely Cancun is the Cancun. Most beautiful beach. Cancun. Okay. All right. So are you gonna dig her? Or? <laughs> well, you should visit Guadalajara. We have Confidor. What? You have what there? Confidor. Oh, the con. Yes, there's a convention there, right? Guadalajara. Yeah, yeah. 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 alright. And, and uh, it's started a couple years ago, yeah? There's yeah, this is going to be the second edition. Oh, okay. Alright, when's that? In the same October. October in Guadalajara. October in Guadalajara, yes. Okay, see, I can't say this the same as in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Okay, alright, perfect. And actually, I live in Tlaquepaque. You live in what? Like a Oh, I thought you said Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> Try to say it, but I'm going to put it in the That's the name of a city. Wow. <laughs> okay. Everybody, repeat after uh, Paco. But I'm going to put it in the No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have how much time left? Not a lot. Less than a minute to go. <laughs> 20 seconds? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Wow, oh, fantastic work for us. Here, flip it around so that the camera can get a good view, and then we'll get our judge in here. Amazing, amazing, right? First of all, uh, I said definitely give a big round of applause to both Yuri and Paco as well as The skill is amazing. It's, it's, uh, it's humbling to see people be able to do this you know, in 10 minutes. So thank you very much. Now, uh, what was your thoughts when it came to how you wanted to blend the two characters? Okay, and, and over here, it, it was more like a like the, a tiger with the body of a bird. Okay, <laughs> I, I, it's interesting. You know, both of you kind of went the same route as far as having 
um, it wasn't so much that the the arms like they had actual bird wings and that's their arms as opposed to separate arms from just wings is there a reason you went that route yeah it's cute okay and <laughs> yes, actually, also it's very weird when, when they have arms as well as wings yeah. okay all right fair enough all right well let's get our judge back in here I want them both to win. Can they both win? They cannot both win. All right, so here's the deal. We had, the challenge for them was to take these two characters, which is Fallen the Snowy Owl. Okay. And Flurry the Blue Tiger. Okay. Okay, and combine them into a hybrid. Okay, they created a new hybrid, and that was these two characters. So, take a look at both of them. If you have any questions for the artist or by all means. So we have one Flurry with wing arms. He's very tigery with some wings. Oh, and he's got a nice burp tail. It's very cute, as Paco's stuff is always extraordinarily cute. Ooh. <laughs> Aerie's pulling out all the stops this year. <laughs> she made it cute. It's a nice amalgam of both. They're both so good. <laughs> now, before you decide, because uh, someone, you do have to decide. <laughs> Um, just keep in mind that this time I would like you to tell who is the winner, not who you're eliminating. Okay, so are you, are you ready to make that decision? Are you ready to announce? If you had to announce, just tell me when you're ready. Just tell me when you're ready. Yes, from the so let us know when you're ready. I think. Okay, both. Well, are, you, are you ready to announce? Okay, Ari, it's your year. Okay. Right. And right. Aries kind of got the nice soft owly look to it, but they were both so good it was a hard hard to decide. Alright, well thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations, very Aerie Eden, our winner of Hunter Wars 2019 of Hunter Wars. How do you feel, Aerie? How do you feel, Aerie? You know, there's a bit of a running joke that um, every time you participated in this, you were the first to be eliminated in every round, every time you did it. Yeah. And now you actually get to the very, very end. Finally. <laughs> and Paco, now you can put a second place uh, finish as part of your resume for, for a cutthroat artist, right? How, many, how do you feel? I think Shiro is a jury right now. <laughs> yeah? yeah? All right. Well, like I said, uh, everybody, thank you so much for coming to Cutthroat Artist. Uh, we, I love seeing so many of you here. Uh, like I said, come up and see the uh, artwork. We'll have it down in just a couple minutes there. Uh, feel free to take some pictures or whatever. And then the, the subjects of these uh, uh, pieces can have them after we've done that. So again, thank you very much. We'll have, the rest, have a good rest of your day at Universal Studios.